All right, 529 on a Monday morning. Free Community College. We are talking about that today because Governor Newsom signed a new deal. Mm -hmm. Free college pay for what you I'll just I'm do doing your hand everything movement. you're saying. I'll just <laughs> I'll just, you know, improvise. Okay, here. so check this out. The state is gonna foot the bill. It's gonna mm -hmm. be about thirty thousand new students that are eligible for it. Yeah. Yeah. So every day we want you to be a part of the conversations. We're asking you, should we have free colleges for kids that are paid for by your tax dollars. Yeah, community college, two years, provided that you're a new student. And you look, and we're going through this now, the cost yeah. of a four-year college, yep. it's, it's crazy. Yeah. So if you can shave two years off on free, that really helps down the line with student debt and mommy and daddy debt, too, as mm -hmm. well. So let us know what you think about all this. Love to hear from you. And the votes will be posted as they come in. Oh, it looks uh, like a lot of people are on 82% are saying no right now. Well, mm. because they got to pay for it. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Nothing's for free, Nothing's especially free no in California. <laughs> don't you know? Okay, time to get to your local headlines. Daily Blend, we do everything quickly in five minutes. Brittany, how are the roads? You know what? Right now for Monday, it's not too bad, I guess. Now, if you ride the light rail, just want to give you a heads up. The bus bridge will still be used between Roseville and Marconi Street. So keep that in mind. Our traffic team is headed out that way so we'll update you throughout the morning but if you're walking out the door i just want to make sure you do know as we take a look at everything happening now our abc 10 wazers are now saying hey watch out 99 northbound near Galt. we have a new accident this is just coming in so behind the scenes i'm going to try to get some more information for you but as i run the numbers for you you can see traffic is still moving 99 northbound goal into sacramento we're looking at 20 minutes but I will watch it throughout the morning. Rob Carl, Mark, I mean, are we almost to fall? It's kind of hot out there. You know, uh, well, I'll tell you, you can get fall in a cup at Starbucks oh. tomorrow with the <laughs> hashtag PSL. That's about the best we can do. Our mornings are okay, but notice out here in the Gilmore backyard as we're examining the plants there, there's no wind. Uh, we don't really have anything natural helping us out. So you got to get ready for another hot day. And so let's go ahead and take you through it. You know, the only reason I really show you yesterday's temperatures, because that's old news, is because I want to give you some idea of what these numbers mean today. Today's temperatures are going to be almost exactly the same as yesterday. So that means your morning's going to go the same and your afternoon. Kind of warm in the morning in the 60s. Definitely hot in the afternoon. And just for some comparison, this is 10 degrees above where we normally are for lows and for highs. We're starting off in the 60s and 70s. Notice if you're far away from that delta breeze, which we got a little bit of, places like Oroville or higher up in elevation like Placerville or Modesto, you can see we're quite a bit warmer uh, than some of the valley spots. We're heading to 100 degrees, folks. There's no way to put it. We've got uh, heat on the way for the next two days. You may notice this. What's going on in Southern California? That's the leftovers of a tropical system, which is gonna bring in some clouds, humidity, and maybe a couple thunderstorms for Southern California, maybe Central Coast. But for us, still hot. I do see some cooling by the end of the week. That means instead of triple digits, we're looking at 90s through Labor Day weekend. Back to you. Okay, Rob, thank you for putting that all together for us. Back to the news of the day. Major scares at three California malls over the weekend. In all three cases, people thought there was an active shooter turned out to be not that. Scared shoppers ran from a chaotic scene at Vintage Fair Mall in Modesto last night. Police were called to the scene just before 5 p.m. Reports of shots fired. They found out nobody fired any shots, but four men did use a sledgehammer to break through a glass display at a jewelry store. That's what the noise was. Modesto police posted photos of the suspects. If you know anything about this group or recognize them, please call Modesto PD. In the meantime, police were asking people to stay away from the Great Mall in Milpitas after rumors spread of shots fired in that mall. Turns out three people robbed a jewelry store, but again, there was no shooting. And at the Topanga Mall in Los Angeles, two people are behind bars after reports of a possible shooting there. Police say there was no evidence of a shooting, but there had been a robbery at the Neiman Marcus store. I'm live at Rio Americano High School here in just a few hours as students uh, get dropped off at school and start their school day. School leaders will be making community resources available for them today. This all goes back to last week when a post was circulating on social media that was uh, racially charged and hate filled. Take a look at it on your screen right now. It started circulating on social media late last week and it has a phone on it uh, with the Rio Americano page open to a post with hate speech. It suggested that schools in the San Juan School District, like Rio Americano, would no longer allow African Americans and called it the no black people policy. 
Rio Americano's principal Brian Ginter said that the high school's initial review of the post shows that the post is fake. He confirmed that the FBI and the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office are looking into it. He said, quote, this post is incredibly hurtful to our school community and our staff has been working diligently since discovering it to investigate. He went on and said, we do not tolerate this type of hate. Now this morning we know that the principal will be meeting with every school level and school grade um, to uh, discuss this social media post, uh, discuss the outcome from it, the results from it, what caused it, how to move forward from it, and the expectations in terms of the school culture on campus. We know that the principal's first scheduled meeting is at 8.05 a.m. with the 9th grade class. We'll keep this uh, school, um, this story updated on our website, abc10.com. For now, we'll send it back over to you. Yeah, a lot of people talking about it. Carlos, thank you. That's your daily blend. If you have something you want to share with us, please use the hashtag morningblend10.